Kuwait does not like this. Computer is apparently having a morning. Can we be live, please? Here we go. Comes. Hey everybody. Good morning. <coughs> How are you? Hope everybody's more awake than me today. I've been sketching. Apparently you have. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, Medusa. Excellent. Okay. Stuff nerd says morning. Spanish sauce is here, says hello, lovelies. Hey, good morning. Um, Preclude says hello from Namibia. Hello. K pop says saw Medusa and came running. Yeah, I'm trying to figure Ooh. it out. Miss Bethany's here, says ringers are rugged. Mods are here with a happy face. Okay, not all of these are for. Isaac says salutations. Lily Rose says, I made it, but I can't stay long. The sketches look great. Thank you. Look at that. Adidas says, this seems perfect, India. huh? I clicked on the notification. The speed of lightning. I absolutely love Medusa and was so happy he is finally doing this. <laughs> Am I late again? Eat some bread. We just started. Lunarius says, good evening from the Philippines. Mia says, hey, crocheting right now. Scout says, hey, how are you, Scott and Donna? Uh, we're doing good, thank you. Well, that's a story. Jocelyn says good morning. Living Blindly says good morning. Good, wonderful morning. I like the lower left sketch, says Brianna. This one? Which zebra pen is your favorite, says Koa? I think the one I use the most is the, the, the Ultra Fine. I can't do Ultra Fine. Oh. So, I, awesome. I'm. Medusa Awesome says that. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm also. So, here's the thing. Like, I think. My gut is always to do something like this, but I've done that so many times. So many. And I'm also looking to see what I've done recently. We just started, we haven't even started yet, Brayden. Yeah, we just started. I just, um, I Isaac. was- Isaac says I should give you a picture of my sister when she has curlers and she looks just like Medusa. <laughs> I, I think I'm leaning towards horizontal, either the 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 snakes trailing behind, or I kind of like this one, where they're kind of going across her face over to the left. But the center the center one is kind of cool too. She's just kind of screaming. So like if I use, I saw that one and I thought that seems like her. If I use that photo. Wowzers. It's a photo already. Let's see. Azula, I finally had time to watch one of your streams. Hello. Hello. Um, Ramil's says, hey, your art really inspires me. You probably won't see this, but I love your art style and it inspired mine. You're right. I didn't see it. But I, I saw it. But my wife saw it. Thank <laughs> you. Alan J says, yo. There's a lot of O's there. How's everyone doing? We're doing good, thanks. So this bottom left one that you liked... That would be using this photo for reference. So we're kind of underneath. Oh, I like that. And the snakes are kind of coming towards you. That's a different angle you haven't done yet. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. But as we learned from the um, <coughs> pile of doom yesterday, you have to like it. Yeah. So, so this one would be this one would be finish. this one, but I kind of tilted it. I kind of rotated it a little bit like that. Hi from Germany again. What's your favorite animated movie? Um, Iron Giant, Despicable Me Two, Into the Spider Verse. So Ruko says this does not make sense. And good morning. <laughs> good morning. These are thumbnails. These are these are. This is how I figure out what I'm gonna do. And the position of the drawing. In the full sketch. Yep. Oh, Zebo 
Salas says, hello, I wanted to say that you really make me believe in myself and I love your videos. Oh, I love to hear that. Thank you. That is fantastic. Hi, Emerald Art Studio. Melly says, this is my first time here. Welcome. Love that. All right, let, why don't we decide first? What, what What's the, the consensus? Vertical? Do you see something here vertical? Or do you like horizontal better? What? Let, let's try to narrow it down. Vertical or horizontal? Oh. Cast your vote. Eat some bread, maybe a notebook. And it's letting the glue dry before oh. it, they send it to me. That's so sweet. Wow, Paris from Croatia. The second thumbnail and the second page looks so good with a lot of O's in the middle of the good. <laughs> um, the first one, the second one, can't wait to see the results. What color pencil are you using? This is a um, <laughs> dark purple Prisma color pencil. Isaac's feeling sassy today and wants to know if Medusa has to feed the snakes on her head. <laughs> Willow so, Rose says good morning. What's the consensus? Bottom horizontal line. Horizontal or vertical? No, there is no consensus, really. Horizontal, vertical, vertical, horizontal. Vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay, vertical. Vertical, bottom, middle, ver first page, bottom. Vertical, vertical, horizontal. Horizontal, horizontal. Uh, it seems like there's more verticals than horizontals. All right, okay. Yeah, there's more verticals than horizontals. Let me go back this way. Um, horizontal took my breath away. Oh, Kurt says, hello, Scott. I recently drew an octopus because I got inspired by your videos and I say it looked good. Oh, thank you. Well, I say it looked good too. All right, I was looking to see if there was a, a oh. I was looking to see if there was a poll feature, but I don't see one. There is, I don't think there is a poll feature on here. Okay. But I'm seeing way more verticals and horizontals. All right, so now, hold on. pick okay, your number. It says you teach me something every day. Oh, pick a number, guys. One through six, pick a number. It might be cool that one of the snakes looking like it's trying to bite you. Oh, that's cool. That's do stuff, girl. Four, four. It looks like mostly fours. I'm seeing a lot of fours. Hmm, okay. All right, then let's see if we can um, take four and wow, wow. Okay, guys, do a I, little better I, at it. And look, <laughs> 35 people here right now, and the comments are just going everywhere, but the majority of the comments All right, are we're going to go with four for now. And Wallace thinks he's I funny. I think, was it this one, or was it, I think it was this one was four, right? Wow. Okay, guys, we're going to do four. Well, we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to explore four. I got to, I got to feel it. So let's see here. I need you to feel four. It's We're gonna do it at the card size. How's that sound? So many comments. I know, right? Well, he asked for the, he asked for, uh, hi, are you in Scotland? No, I wish we were in Scotland. Well, this is my place and I'm Scott, so I guess technically it is Scotland. Oh, jeez. No, it's not cool. Ha ha, Scotland. Uh, Jasmine says, please make her badass. Oh, you got it. I love you guys so much. Scott is my inspiration. That's music with Rini. So let's see if this is, we'll say this will be the halfway point. Right? So if I make her. I don't understand the hype for four. People just like what they like. We are citizens of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland is the dream of all artists. Man, I would love to visit Scotland. Have you ever dabbled into digital art? I did. Um, I did a. I did Spider Man digitally. I did my series, The Dreamline Chronicles, digitally, but it was 3D. It wasn't painted 3D. Uh, painted. Keel wants you to do Indonesian culture for the hair journal. All right, I'll look Didn't into. Did you do it. that? Um, oh, not Indonesian. That's right. That's right. That's Indian. Right. Yeah, Indian. Sorry, different. Are you in the Hobbit hole? I am. Guilty. Here. You should dry yourself. I think it turned out pretty cool. Thank you. See, this is the hobbit hole. Mine is Dom. <laughs> Who is sitting in a chair and exhausted. Okay. Um, All right. It's a good ink pen to start with. Love you and thank you for inspiring my art journey. 
I love the zebra brush pen, and I'm sure the mods could give you a link to it. Mm -hmm. You keep me motivated to find out what I love about making art. That's Hannah Vanderberg. Thank you. Sebo <laughs> says you're amazing. I will share your account with all my um, friends and family. You're so cute. That's... <laughs> Should I have her like holding a bow and arrow or something or? Okay. She doesn't need a bow and arrow. She just. Well, she, she. If I do this, I mean, we're going to have to see more of her now. Wait, Ahana says I really want to become an artist when I grow up. And Scott is one of my greatest inspirations. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. All right. So if we do this, the snakes are going to be coming. Let's say Medusa should feel different. Hmm. Yeah, they want one of the snakes coming off the page trying to bite you. Yeah, there you go. I mean, what paper are you using right now? Oh, this is just sketch paper, just like Dick Blick sketchbook kind of thing. Yes, he has done several types of braids for the hair journal. We'll go back through the um, pages when we get a minute. Let him um, get the sketch nail down, and then we'll go back over the hair journal. How can I master watercolor like you? Oh, I haven't mastered it, and I don't know if I ever will, but, uh, you know, really, just it's, it's just practice. The thing is, is that um, you, you have to look at it as uh, you're going to get something different from watercolors than I am. Like, I don't do watercolors <laughs> like other people do watercolors, um, and... and, and that's a good thing. So what you need to do is you just need to kind of start playing with it and see see what you get out of it, how you wind up using it. Okay, Vanilla says, I'm sick right now and um, I hope your stream helps. We hope you feel better. Yeah. Drawing in a hobbit sounds like a dream. Uh, love your voice. It's so relaxed. Thank you. I'm not feeling this one, everybody. It's just not very dynamic. Um, we did watch Stranger Things. I've heard that the new season is um, going to be even scarier. So I'm just not sure I'm going to watch it because I can't do it. Um, he does not have classes. Say hi to Amber. Let's go. Huh? Oh, hi, Amber. Have you ever Sorry. watched Blue Period? It's an anime about painting. No, I haven't. Vip is from Scotland, Edinburgh to be exact. Ooh, we hope to come there. I want to go there so bad. All right, um, so. Hold on, Octa Art, check out the Art Hacks playlist. There are a ton of things in there that you could use as a beginner. And yes, he did go to art school. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Okay, stop reading comments. I, I'm, I'm way back. Isaac, you deserved it. My arm hurts because my sister punched me over the curler's comment. He says worth it. <laughs> he says worth it. I say you deserved it. All right. I'm going to pan out so you guys can see. V. Ruby says, I just love seeing your art. It inspires me so much. Oh, thank you. Right now, you're just seeing the thought process. So, um... Quilla Rose says, everyone thinks the hot hole is in New Zealand, but really, it's in Scotland. <laughs> Um, Mr. Tree Frog says, you've inspired me a lot. Thanks for making awesome videos like these, Scott. Can you do Netherlands in the hair journal? Um, what is Netherlands hair? I don't know. I don't know. Emerald Art Studio, we need a little more um, info on that. I'm sitting in my bunny shed. Okay, I lost that one. I don't know where to go. Oh, sketching. But I have one problem. I don't know what to draw. Um, draw a bunny. Hello. We're sitting in the bunny shed. You have to draw a bunny. That's the rule. Oh, Spanish sass Donna, the most amazing part of the hobbit hole. She's so cute. Um, I sent some of your videos to a friend of mine who's learning to draw, and she had already found your stuff, so we talked about your content for like an hour last night. Wow. Brooks. Thank you, Battle How Brooks. How's your day been going? Hmm. So far, so good. Except for 2.30 a.m. That's all good. Um, your house is stunning. Only the hobbit hole is stunning. The rest of the house is very Gondor. Yes. Let me tell you. Um, let's see. Favorite Spider-Man adaptation? Um, 
I think Spider-Man needs to be a, a TV show. I think that's when he's at his best. So I like the original Spider-Man cartoon. Yeah. But as far as movies go, I think the best one is either Spider-Man 2 with Dr. Octopus or Into the Spider-Verse. The um, Miles Morales one. Octar says love from Pakistan. Thank and you. And Sketchy says, just want to say hey from Scotland to Scotland. Oh, uh, hey. Um, the hopeless gay says you mo motivated me to get back into art as a whole and especially watercolors. Oh, thank you. I am your fan. That's Cynthia. Would you rather sit or stand while doing art? I stand. He stands because he has back issues. Um, Little Miss Showbiz is, um, her name is Eliza. She's going to turn 11 in three days. I'm drawing, I'm Indian, and I love your drawings, and I love watching your videos. They're always interesting. Thank you so much. And happy early birthday. Um, do you have any recommendations for paper? Uh, if you're doing watercolor, yes, there's watercolor paper in the link in my bio. <clears throat> Scott, do you journal besides the travel journal? No, no, the travel journal is is the only time you'll ever actually see me writing anything about my life. He doesn't really write about his life. Um, traditionally, Medusa fought with a spear. Spear, okay. Mm -hmm. The hobbit hole is so awesome. I love the hobbit hole. Um, she should be caressing the snake that's coming forward. All right, so this is this is the one that I think has the most impact. But <laughs> let's let's go back. Honey, let's get the very easy right now. This is. Is it a cancer? No. Uh, this is just the Dick Blick sketchbook. Sketchbooks can be anything. I mean, it could be you know just people, copy paper. Yeah, no, I got it. I just I'm just saying it's it's a. Uh, Nothing special. Um, Scott went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. Random person says, thank you for getting me, helping me to get back into the drawing again. I used to draw all the time, but then I stopped, so thank you for helping me get back into it. Oh, my pleasure. Um, <clears throat> so we tried number four. That was the most popular one. Um, to me, this one seemed a little too serene, and I think Medusa needs to be angry. Um, you okay, honey? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You are talking a long time and there's so many comments. Guys, I'm, I know you like to hear Scott's comments and you like to hear him explain things. So if I missed a comment, give me 10 minutes and put your comment in again and I will read it. But there are so many of you, there's 400 of you right here right now and I'm trying my best. So I don't want to ignore Okay, honey, you're talking way too much. I know, right, go ahead. Got, um, the reason why I'm, I get a lot, I've had a lot of requests uh, for Medusa and a lot of people have told me, and please add it to the comments, um, but a lot of people told me that she represents survivors of sexual abuse. Is that true? Because I'm, I'm going on that and it seems like we want a powerful, angry Medusa. Is is that? Because that seems to be what what I what the request that I've been yes asked correct. many times. That is the correct. Now I'm I, maybe it's been appropriated for that recently. I don't know, but It's true. In the original tale, she was abused by Poseidon, and her curse was a gift. Okay. So I'm just trying to. I'm. Mean, I'm trying to represent her in a way that is as positive as possible for people who would get the most out of it. Otherwise, it's just art for me. But if I can also add an extra layer for certain people. Spirit Ren says Medusa is a symbol of protection, a fighting evil with evil type of thing. Okay, which is why I, I feel like anger is a thing, or, or if not, if it should be calm beauty, I can go with that. The third. 
Nixia says, angry Medusa has been through some stuff and survived. She's fierce and strong. And random person says, that's what I've heard with her. It was said she was turned into a monster that turns people into stone, so no one can ever hurt her again. They, a bunch of them have said they like angry Medusa. Okay. Um, Steph says, I don't think anger, but fierce Medusa, yes. Okay, so if we go to... I'm going to try this one next. This one kind of hit me in a way too. Um, let me try this one. But I'll try the gritted teeth instead of screaming something like that. Calm but malice beauty. Gods of War Medusa. She should hold a snake's head. Yeah, but that would require me drawing a hand. Stephanie says, yes, that one's the very last horizontal. You know what? I could probably do it this way. Um, Rita says, um, I'm from your American Gothic video, and ever since then, I'm just hooked on your art. Oh, thank you. Um, I was hoping you could provide some advice on the adaptation of watercolor, or application of watercolor. Uh, yeah, there is a video. Uh, on that, in my uh, art hacks. Fierce, but not too aggressive. We haven't figured out the pole feature yet, so just we're just gonna go with this. Is but there a pole feature? Did they say? saying you could do a pole. I don't really. Know where, I don't know where it is, dear. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the picture again. Gritted teeth, I get pain, anger, and rage, which she would be full of, says Nixia. I think a fierce glare would be cool. How do you approach line thickness when inking? Oh, I did a video on that too, um, but really it's where the shadow is. It's where, um, that's why they call it line weight. You wanna kind of look at it that way. <coughs> but there is a video on it. I love that you're representing her as a survivor. Well, again, this isn't my idea. These are the comments that I've been given and I'm trying to work from that. Um, Let me make sure that there's not a better picture. Little Fairy says, how could I have been here since day one and not thought about Mindy so I'm so into Greek mythology. Um, I think I'm gonna use this face. Sky Siri says, hey Scott, good morning or afternoon. Is it okay if we use your drawings as a reference? Please, please do. Anything I could do to help. And then I'm gonna raise the eyes up to about here. And then the Willow nose. Willow Rose says, I think I speak for all 400 of us when I say we are so honored to be a part of your thumbnail process. Oh, I'm, I'm honored to have you all here, really. We're actually kind of stunned you guys keep coming back every, every week. <laughs> and happy Friday. Kate says, Dear Scott, you have inspired me so much and I would love to be read. Uh, you taught me so much and it was you that got me into watercolor. Oh, thank you. Quite a few little hearts after that. I think she's appreciative. Um, you should make the eyes open and let them glow. You can try yeah, that them. might be kind of cool. Um, oh, yes, I am his wife. Hi, I'm Donna. I am guilty. Maybe horizontal three quarter at the bottom of the page and the snake's covering the rest of the page. Yeah, I, I don't know why I spent any time doing face. Uh, it's This is a sketch, it's just. Aria Kodra loves your videos, is a huge fan of your work, has been getting inspiration from you, and it sends you a virtual hug. So I oh, thank you. Hi, Aria. Hi, Aria. <clears throat> so I had them kind of coming across. Juniper says, it's my friendly art parents again. As usual, your content is comforting as well as motivation. <laughs> um, let's see. Looking into your thought process for these pieces is very reassuring about how I do your art, not saying that your art is bad. It's just easy to get caught into the ideas of quick YouTube shorts. Oh okay. yeah. I can't tell you how long it takes him to do those YouTube shorts. It's not a quick process. It is like an, a couple hours long process for him to put those together, to think about what to say, to write the script, to record everything. So while it looks quick and sweet, it's not quick and sweet. It is hard to try to get a whole story down into just one minute. 
Hi, Incognito. Um, Potato Chip says, hello, Scott and Donna. I have done six pages on the book Aliens, and it's turning out amazing. Oh, that's great. Yay, good for you. Good morning from the East Midlands, UK. This is Kaylee, working on a piece myself for an army veteran for his birthday, watching you is keeping me going on my piece. All right, so I think if I push the movement, this this has a lot of flow to it. Do you guys like this one a little bit? Or did you like, I should You're probably. You're gonna paint it and finish it, so you pick it That's my two cents. Lucy says, by the way, you guys are so wholesome. A breath of fresh air from all the stuff you usually see on social media. Thank you. Thank you very a, much. We're trying to be a respite for art and just hanging out. All right, I'm going to try one more, which is this one. But I think I just did this one a little bit more than that one. But this one's a little more angry. So. Marley's on a school bus right now. I'm watching Animal Crackers later. Oh, thank you. Hey, Rose is here. Long time. Hey, so Rose. She's able to get up to get here. How you feeling today, Rose? Hold I on. quite like the last one you did, but both look great, says Victoria. Scott went outside and to empty the pencil sharpener. I, I don't know why he's doing it outside, but whatever. So he's outside. That's what the beep that you heard was the door opening. And um, gosh, there are just so many of you here today, and the comments are going so fast. You guys are just chatty today. Sorry, the pencil sharpener. Um, Mara, Mara says, Scott, you give such warm energy. If I ever saw you in real life, I'd want to give you a big hug. Thank you for motivating <laughs> me to start practicing my art again. Oh, thank you. Um, do you like the color sage green? Sage green. Um, do I have sage green to look at? You know, it's like pea soup green. If it's like pea soup, chances are probably not. I'm not much of a pea soup kind of guy. Demonic says, bruh, don't empty the pencil sharpener outside. <laughs> Are you using a 2B pencil? No, I'm using a Prismacolor pencil. I love the motion of the composition. We're gonna try one more. Nixon would like to know what's your favorite work by another artist. Mine's Van Gogh's Starry Night because I love his brush strokes. Mine is, um, I will show you. I do not do art, but I do journal. You're welcome. Do you always use the purple pencil for those thumbnails? I like the color. I do. And, uh... Oops. Oh, Heather's starting off... For, um, their birthday with this stream, so I can schedule inside you. Thanks for being an inspiration. Happy birthday, Heather. Happy birthday. You'd think I'd have this one bookmarked by what now. What would you say is the best and worst part of drawing on a stream? Um, the best part is getting feedback because when you're working on art, you're working alone. And uh, so the best is to say, is this working? Is that working? And actually having people being able to look at it. I think that's fantastic. The worst part is not being able to pee. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm joking, but... Hannah so, says, how about a look of Pierce and Hatred where it looks like she's thinking, you dare enter my lair, your demise shall be quick. That's what and I'm thinking, yeah. Hannah gave you Thank you, Hannah, again. So this is Spring by Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. And we got to see this in person. And it is just, it's like five feet, six feet tall. It's like really big, but I mean, Stunning. like the, I don't think it can focus in. No, it won't. The detail is just. Um, please do the vertical one on the right. I can make the snakes the center of the drawing. All right, let's see. I was gonna do one more. Yeah, thank you guys for recognizing our mods are awesome. 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm currently wearing a Def Leppard Hysteria Tour t-shirt, but yeah. Um, Do you like or have you done any other illustrations inspired by mythology? Um, yeah, I did a painting of Circe, and um, I in, in high school I did a drawing of uh, Pegasus. Will you say something about pencil sketching? I like it. I mean, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, um, I usually, what, what exactly do you want to know about pencil sketching? And colored pencils do not erase well. No, these are horrible for erasing. Don't even try. <laughs> when will Donna start running the channel? It just feels slightly inevitable. Uh, never. Never. Mm-mm, not gonna happen. I like the background. That's where I, that's where I shine in the background. He's 50, I thought he was in his 30s. Oh, thank you. Have you ever painted landscapes? And, and if so, do you like it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't paint them like, like big paintings, but I will draw them in my, um, in my travel journal. <laughs> Graphite smiles, we'll check our email later. Chonk the Bando says, what? He's not wearing a button-up shirt and a beret? And yeah. <laughs> you try different types of art styles. Oh boy, has he. Yeah. Have you thought about uploading tutorials on your channel? I, I think the one minute is, is about as far as I could go. I am not an art teacher, and I, I want to make sure everybody understands that. I am just a fellow uh, student of art. So... Um, you guys have any tattoos? No. I can't, I, I don't think I could ever commit to one piece of art. I have like henna tattoos, but that's just because they fade and I can do something. Okay, I don't like this one. Can we see your travel journal and what do you usually try to fill it with? Um, my, here's my 2021 travel journal, which is finished. We fill it with places that we've been to during the year. Well, we, I say he, he fills it with places. Oh, Aishman is 11 years old and learned about watercolor from your videos. Oh, That's thank so you. So you oh. might've seen some of the videos on these. Rose was supposed to be in Orlando today for the Celebrity Impersonators Convention is there this weekend. Oh. Uh, Scott, do you have a favorite hat that you own? I do, I do. It is, and, it, and I can't find like, where I bought it, so I can't replace it. So I keep buying other ones, but it's just the one that you see in the video. So, so these are my last year, uh, you know, where we traveled, uh, places we went. Um, Creative says lots of love um, from India. Thank you. <coughs> and Jitha says, have you ever faced a problem of not being able to draw anything at all? Yeah, yeah. I mean, some days you just you just can't. Some days you just can't draw. Um, so same thing with anything. Some days you wake up and you just don't feel it. You know. Well, today I'm. It says hello, fellow students. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this one one more time. See if we can get that one right. Okay. Um, they want to know if you draw every day and how many hours a day on average do you spend on art. That's well, a good question since yesterday. I did no art. He did no art. I did no art yesterday. It was all video editing and meetings phone calls. and phone calls and, and whatnot. So some days I don't get to, but I would say 90% of the, the, the time I am. But I, I probably only spend <laughs> about maybe two hours a day making uh, physical art. The rest of the time is video editing or meetings or, or other stuff. So it's not as much as, you know, like, like you would think, like I don't spend my days painting. He I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would like that, honestly. I think, I, I think I would probably. I, know. I still think you have ADHD, but you can't focus on one thing for longer periods of time. And I think you, when you jump around, I think you figured out what works for you. And I think the jumping around helps you. 
Yeah. So like he'll paint for a while or and then he'll go play a video game and then he'll have some phone calls and then he'll go paint or he'll do something else. So So I'm trying to figure out what to do with the hair, with the snaky hair, you know, so um Okay. Music with Brandy says, You are just so talented. I wanna say I wish I had that talent. You are so inspirational and you are the reason I started taking my art seriously and try to make it better. Love you, Scott. Oh, thank you. You too can constantly improve. I, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put her head here. What part of the body do you find hard to draw even though you're so experienced? Uh, definitely the hands and the feet. Did you ever add a drawing of a child to the hair journal? I don't like drawing kids. Um, Scott has a video of his art from the very, very beginning. So if you check that one out, do you remember what it's called? Babe? I think it's watch my art grow. Yeah. Or something You'll like see that. his art through the years from when he was a very, very young kid all the way through pretty recently. Hands and feet are so hard. <coughs> Any tips for drawing demonic cult like art? Um, I Isn't think that, that stuff just is... a big pentagram. <laughs> no. I think that stuff is actually a little easier because, you know, anything monstrous, ugly is easier to draw than pretty. That's why you can't draw me anymore. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> did you ever make a video of how to make a head? Please make one if you did. I think I did, yeah. You did you do one of the views, like a three-quarter view? I've got, yeah, I've got Yeah, check that out. So <laughs> if the... If the... I like the straight up angry one. Yeah, that one is to me the most powerful, but if that doesn't represent... Oh, Hannah asks, and she sent you another tip, which is totally unnecessary. Stop it, Hannah. Do you have art of things that no longer exist, as in buildings or structures that have since been demolished? Art of things that no longer exist. Um, you mean like out of my head or no, I've, like I've been to a ruin? As in buildings or structures that have been since been demolished. Since been. So again, is it so am I making it up out of my head since it's been demolished a long time ago? Or am I, or am I no, painting I mean, the ruin? Did you go somewhere, paint something, and now it doesn't exist anymore? If that's the case, then yeah, we, we went to Notre Dame. <gasps> oh God, that's right. Oh, geez, that's right. Um, I don't think I ever painted. I have photos of us with uh, uh, the World Trade Center, uh, but but I don't think I've ever painted it. Yeah. Um, I'm begging you to do the one on the right, please. I need to be focused on the snakes. It's a great perspective. Please redraw your first art. I want to see the progress. Oh, oh God. He's never going to redraw his first art. Are you angry when your art goes bad, goes wrong? Angry, no. Disappointed, yeah. You know, it's, it is it's part of life. Sometimes you're just like, man, I really thought this one was going to be a good one. Um, it's Ren. He's got a video on Art Block um, that he did in the Art Hex playlist. Um, oh, Emma's here. Work finished late for her. Very profound, Scott says, Rose, uglier is easier to draw than pretty. Yeah. No, I wish I did art. I am not artistic. I can do really, really good stick people, but I am not artistic. I do journal and I read. All right, so. What do you struggle with the most in art? Right now, I'm thinking it's composition. <laughs> Medusa. Um, look, um, so this one, we don't have enough room for the hair on this side of her head. And so that's why I moved her over to here. So that way we can have some some stuff here. She's not in the center, but she's just off center. So it gives us some, so we have hair on this side and we have hair on this side. Um, I think artistically, this will give us more negative space that we can work with. Here it goes again with the negative space, people. Do you play any D&D or tabletop role playing games? I, no, I haven't. I I've, I want to get back into it one day. What's your favorite kind of art to do? I think what I'm doing right now is my favorite. Definitely stuff like the hair journal stuff is my favorite. 
There was a day I couldn't draw. Eventually, a few days after I started what would be my best ever colored pencil drawing that I worked on while watching one of these streams. That was wonderful. Oh, that's great. It's fun to draw together, isn't it? Do you have any hobbies other than art? I play games, and maybe one day Donna and I will play golf together. Again, I love golf. Right now, our children came home from college. God help me. <laughs> You guys, I can't keep enough food in the house. It's crazy. Um, let's see. Love your art and videos. Would love if the snakes came towards the viewer like they want to protect the music. Like this, right? That's a good one. Oh, Rayum says, wanted to stop by and say hi, and I find your voice and general person very soothing. You're definitely a bit of a comfort channel for me, so I wanted to say thank you. Oh, thank you. See if we can get this to work. I like the straight up angry one. Yes, yeah, Jack says good morning from California. Good morning. Um, have you ever tried charcoal pencils? I have, I have, and I have some. Did you like them? We use them a lot in uh, figure drawing class, so yeah, I did like them. Those are the ones you use with the big um, newsprint pads. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sad because I can't watch right now because I'm in Australia and I have to go to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Good Jesus. night. Have a good sleep. Um, what part of the body do you find hard to draw even though you're so experienced? Uh, the hands and the feet. Mm -hmm. The doctor says, I'm a great fan. Scott, your um, drawings are fantastic. Thank you. I was in a painting slump, says Davina and couldn't finish a painting for a long time. Your content helped motivate me. I've tried to get back into it by using a paint by number kit and I did it. Thank you so much. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's great. Well, I think this one is kind of the best of both worlds if I can get her face right, because right now that face is pretty darn bad. <coughs> there are 372 of you here right now. Wow. What do you think? Am I, am I in the right direction or do you guys really wish I would have gone back to number four or this one, or is there any other thing that you guys think I'm missing? Um, Queen Fluis says, hey, can you maybe do color pencils on this? I love your content. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do color pencils again. Shreya is quoting you, quote, here's everything I know about acrylics. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Scott Sop in 2022. <laughs> That's classic. <coughs> hey, Sophia Marino's here. She says, good morning, Scott. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, sweetie. How are you? I'm going to do a video on the references, but if you look at last, uh, my last live for Wednesday, I put a link to where I got these references in the comment section. Good morning from Montana. That's Red Wolf Gaming. Are you able to... Let me try to... You're with... Oh, dear. Are you available to be someone's artistic grandpa asking for a friend? <laughs> Virtually, yes. In person, probably not. Um, Zynab says, I feel bad when I can't draw from my imagination. Okay, now I feel a little better. Oh, God. <coughs> I, I don't like drawing from imagination. I like doing it for design, but I still want to have photo reference. Oh, Zoe says, I'm not very good at painting, but you have inspired me to love art in general. I'm currently finishing a panda cross stitch. Thank you for that. Oh, that's great. Oh, see, art is not just painting. We've got people here that do um, fiber arts and people who do printmaking and people who do just all sorts of fun things. Book binding, everything. All right, let's see if we can get the pencils. Uh, Merritt painted Medusa on canvas with acrylic and used that New York City statue as a refrigerator. Wow. So your hair paintings for inspiration. Oh, that's great. Yeah. The long vertical one looks brilliant. Everybody thinks your voice is calming. <laughs> Thank you. He wouldn't say that if he was asking you what's for dinner for the nine millionth time. Sound like... Mario Zucchini for the thousandth time. Exactly. Good night from India. Good night. My hair drawings improved a thousand times since I started following you. Thank you so much. Also a fan of Greek mythology, so looking forward to this one. Oh, my pleasure. Kushagra asks, hey, suppose you have the last page left of all the art books in the world. What would you like to draw? The last page left of all of the art books in the world? 
in one page? Gosh, that's a lot of pressure. Um, well, I'll tell you what it wouldn't be. Something with hands, and it wouldn't be a self-portrait. So we've narrowed down what it's not going to be. Great. Okay. Eat some bread says, I just now broke my craft drawer. Now cleaning up the mess. <laughs> oh, God. If you could see my office, I have some piles everywhere. I All right. Mess thing. Let's you know how to draw with brush pens? If yes, please do a tutorial. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a, a video on them if you look in the art hacks folder. Myra says, Scott, I have aphantasia, no visual memory, so it's impossible for me to draw from memory. Is it okay to use references? Yeah, that's that's all I do. And, and again, um, for everybody asking, I will state this one more time. Whatever you're asking about, is it okay if, in art, yes. It is okay to trace, it is okay to use photo reference, it is okay to take a photocopy and draw on top of that. It's okay to copy other people's work. Um, there are no rules, there is no governing law, there is no uh, anything about art. Anything goes. Please remember that. Anything well, is give, possible. If you're going to copy an original artist's drawings, give credit. You, credit. But, it's, but it's still not a law. You don't right. have to give credit. You can, you, it's just the nice thing to do. But again, I want you to all understand that there are no rules. So stop letting other people tell you what you can and can't do, what is and isn't art. If you want to tape a banana to a wall and call it art, it is art. I'll eat the banana and I won't pay for it. Well, that's theft. There are laws for that. <laughs> if I'm hungry, I'm not going to say sorry. Have you tried working in 3D mediums like clay? If you haven't, I think it would be a fun experiment. I would love to one day. I just don't know uh, how to make them not crack. That's the part that's bothering me. Um, what's your favorite art media to use? Your channel is amazing, by the way. Um, I think watercolor and ink. Let me, oh, sorry, I'm going to put this here so I can remember what and I was going to. Another tip, and said, I do macrame. Not sure if that's class, that class qualifies as art. It absolutely it does. It absolutely does. It's a fiber does. craft. It absolutely does. Do you have, like, a favorite art journal? Um, you mean like what, what, what brand, uh, right now I am using, uh, be creative, but the ones that I've used the most is the Canson and there's a link to that in my bio. Oh jeez, You guys, he's not going to draw me. He's drawn me so many times. And if he draws me as Medusa, I'll kill him. <laughs> you are my muse. <laughs> Seriously. Don't, don't push it. We'll have to do something funky with our eyes. What's your favorite art medium to use? Uh, watercolor and ink. Should we do some some weird kind of nose? Um, there I, is a nose tutorial in the Art Hex playlist. Um, do you sometimes wish you didn't need a reference picture and you could just create the perfect drawing on your own? Oh, of course. I am so envious of like comic artists and people who are capable of drawing incredible things out of their head, like build whole worlds and whatnot. It's just not my skill. Alright. Um, he showed his favorite painting. Um, that was uh, Spring by Alma Tadima. Should we give her more of a snarl or is this enough? I pick, I mean, we've been that's kind of enough. going over all of the- Spanish sass says that's enough. That is enough, okay. That's fine, that's enough. Two snarls and more, that's enough. Have you ever tried abstract art? No. Okay, now the hard part is going to be... Spanish says, 
let her be a woman if you think you're gonna be a survivor. I think it's good. I like the. Um, we're going to draw the snakes now. Vixen says, I never thought someone would be jealous of the art that he feels wrong, LOL. <laughs> you know how to deal with dehydration, because it seems like my mind goes on the it's it's tough i mean you you you've watched me do my best to try to um choose between these it is not easy oh abigail says hey i'm 12 and i really want to start watercolor i bought some Watercolor brush paints or brush pens from Tombow, and I want to get some Kohinoor watercolor discs because people say they are better for beginners. Well, that sounds fun. I, I I've never used those, but I don't know what a watercolor disc is. I'm just assuming it's a round thing. That's made out of watercolor. Stone Wolf says, "Big fan of the channel. Any tips on what kind of paper is best for charcoal?" Oh, um, I've not used charcoal in so long. I I would. I would refer to someone probably at an art store for something like that, or somebody like if you if there's a YouTube channel that you know of where someone does it a lot, but I I wouldn't know where to where to go. I would probably go to an art store and ask, say, hey, I want to do charcoal. Any any suggestions for paper? What's your favorite thing to draw? Uh, hair. What's your favorite graphic novel? Ooh, that I did not write. Um, my the first one that came to mind was the Dark Knight Returns, but um, it is a bit darker than I would probably normally like. But it's the first one that came to mind. digital sketch for an embroidery piece and just printed it out and I'm doing a basic outline now. It's just taking the fabric. Oh well. That's fantastic. That is wonderful. How's her face look? Is this okay? Uh, I like, um, hold on a second. I like art says, may I get advice on realism since I always get frustrated and dissatisfied when I attempt it, getting me to give it up. Um, I do have a video on it. Uh, but I will say, um, for realism, it all comes down to your reference. That is the most important thing, is finding the right reference. So you find the right picture, and then the rest of it is just tracing. and Or you can use the grid method. Uh, or if you want to try to freehand it, you're welcome to. Are you allowed to take someone's art from a museum, eat it, and then leave one piece and call it art? Yes. I think if you take the banana off the wall, eat the banana, put the skin back, you're still good. I'm don't in, don't I'm, encourage. I'm, I'm joking. Do not do that. If someone actually tapes a banana to the wall, don't just don't do that. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to ruin other people's <laughs> art. I got accepted into my first preference fashion design and illustration course. Wow. I'm super proud and excited. Thank you guys for the constant virtual encouragement. That's yeah. Sarah Del Pinto. Oh, congratulations. We are so happy for Sarah, you. Sarah, that's exciting. That's really, really exciting. You'll have to show us some of the things that you that you draw, some of your drawings and designs. Yeah, from please the share when you can. Uh, fiber artists are definitely artists. Yeah, absolutely. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm working on both the design and, you know, I gotta, I gotta, now, unlike, unlike the hair I'm normally doing, I, these are all individual creatures. So I have to track every single one of these, which is going to be very interesting. Um, JSK Art, what's the name of the pens you do ink with? Because I can't find them anywhere. There is a link in our bio. They're zebra brush pens, and there was a link to them on jetpens.com. Yeah. People also have found them on Amazon. I don't like to give Bezos more money, but you can find them there too. 
Jazzy says, I started watching videos a few days ago and I've seen one where someone sent you a photo of themselves and you drew it for them. Do you still do that? Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a commission. Um, There's we have... a link in our bio to that too, if you'd like a commission. Please. Yeah. Can you show some pen art, please? I'd love to see some ink art. Uh, I don't have just purely ink, um, but... Uh... The word ink puts a knot in my stomach from when you drop that word. Still. I love how much you have to trust the process in his videos. Honestly, his stuff looks so good. That's jelly potato. Oh, thank you. How can you say if someone is an artist, though? Um, if they say that they're an artist. I, I, I liken being an, I liken art and artist to gender. If someone tells you they're non-binary, some tell, tell you that they're uh, they, them, then that is what they are and you take their word for it and you respect them for that. So if an artist tells you, I drew this, this is art, and you say, fantastic, that is art. You're, it's not your place to tell somebody what is and isn't art. I don't care if you're the most respected art historian or, or connoisseur or critique critic, you don't have the right to tell other people what is and isn't art. Because That's... art is super subjective. It's like when teachers tell students that their work is bad and they'll never be an artist. The that impressionists were okay. told that their work wasn't art. Yeah. The every every okay. movement from impressionism to uh, pre-Raphaelite to uh, cubism to everybody's been it, you're not a art is art. Yeah. You don't have to like every art, but it somebody says this is my art, that's their art. Yeah. Rose says, oh I have missed this. If you want to take a banana to the wall and call it art, it's art. Oh well. We miss you too, Rose. It is. I, look, I don't have to like that art, <clears throat> but I respect the artist. If that is what their work is, and that, I, just because I don't understand it, just because I don't get it, or or it's doesn't it's not my, it's not doesn't mean it's not art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rose says, I can murder be my art? No, no. Isaac. Good grief. How old are you, Isaac? Come on. Love it, love and kindness can be your art. Because we have enough murder. So oh go God, with go with things truth. go with something that the world needs. Yeah. Maybe we got enough murder around here. You know what? Isaac's 14. That so explains it. <laughs> I was you know, I was gonna say, are you 13, 14, 15? You gotta be something like that, because I have boys. Sounds exactly it like Sounds that. like some of our you boys. You sound like our boys. Exactly. The provocateurs. Yeah. And you know, I, I will try to tell you a very short story. No, no yes. more short. No, no, your short stories are never short. Oh okay? my God, your answers to your questions are never short either. No. no. I get to tell a short story. No, no. Stop. The world's got enough of your short stories. Why don't tell a short story? People want to hear They don't want to Do hear you. Do know where story. I can find better sketch pencils? Fine, I will tell my story. Better sketch sketch pencils mm -hmm. it depends i mean art stores are the best place for these things if you don't have access to an art store um there's dick blick which is where i get my art from my art supplies from a kid 1911 says even a stick man family made by a first grader is art yeah absolutely and that's the cutest kind of art because that has to go in the refrigerator i'm just saying by the way i'm going to worry about the heads of these snakes once <laughs> i once i've got it all mapped out Dude, I used to read your comic Spider-Man Quality of Life. Oh, wow. wow. Wow, wow, wow. I showed my mom a ton of your videos yesterday while she was making a poster. Thank you for giving us more to talk about and some inspiration. I've started to really enjoy drawing hair again. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have a moment, and then I'm gonna need to get a paper towel. <laughs> okay. Um, that is probably the sweetest comment. Because, uh... Woo! Give me a sec. <clears throat> I won't speak for your mom, but I'll... Thank you, honey. I'll speak for myself when I say... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having a moment. That's all us moms ever want. <clears throat> Just want time with our kids. <clears throat> 
What do you guys think? How's this? This is starting to look kind of pretty, huh? Oh, this one doesn't go anywhere. I gotta finish that one. Where should this one go? Right there. Okay. I think we should hear this story. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for beginning people beginning with watercolor? Yeah, there's a there's a video on that. Mm -hmm. This is so nice to listen to while I work on art myself. LOL. My friend keeps drawing all my characters, so I'm trying to repay them. That's cute. Do you prefer signing your painting with a Sharpie or paint and a brush? Um, no, you know what? Sharpies fade. They will disappear over time. Yes. Uh, I think the smartest thing is paint or pencil. Pencil is pretty permanent. You want to go with the sun, with the thing that's the most permanent, not the thing that's the least permanent. Okay, they all want to hear my story. You guys are such. Cool. All right, you you guys are glutton for punishment. But first, Moonlight Draw has asked seventy-two times what motivates you to draw. Oh, um, there's a video on that. Uh, look for the video called Art, uh, What to Do About Art Block. But essentially, it's there's a lot of beauty in the world. And so I, I get my motivation from that. Will Slash from Guns N' Roses be on the Hair Journal series? It's... What do you do about sweaty hands while you're drawing? <coughs> I don't really get sweaty hands. My hands are dry. Keep a paper towel or a towel towel next to you and just wipe your hands. Um, you know what, I think it'd be kind of cool if it kind of okay, loops around. Okay, so I will tell you, I'll make the story very short. Scott was saying how um, there's enough stuff in the world that we should do positive things. So the last couple days, I've had a really, really hard time just mentally with all of the things going on in the world. And Scott and I were talking about it yesterday and he said, what's really the alternative? Because if you keep looking at all of the bad things that are happening in the world, you'll never see anything positive. And you have to always look for the positive in the world and look at how you can bring positivity to the world. So that was my story. And now I feel better. There you go. Chris says, loving the hair, Mr. Saba. Speaking of, could you draw a character from Marvel Comics called The Sentry's Hair? The Sentry? I'll have to look to see who the sentry is. I don't recall that character. Um, so now I'm having these... They want Slash from Guns N' Now I'm having the hair or the snakes interlock. So this one goes behind this one, over this one, and then back under. So I'm trying to do a little bit of that because I think that is going to be kind of interesting. Alexa would like um, you to do some sort of Hispanic or Latino person in your next painting. Uh, we do have a uh, Hispanic, and that is this one right here. So if you look up for hair journal number six, page six. That's the one you spilled the ink on that gives me agit every time I look at it. You pulled it out so nicely, but it's crazy. Is Windsor Newton watercolor what you use most? Use for most of your works? It is, it is. I, I, I am being sent Rembrandt. Honey, the people you've been talking to wanted to send me... The paints. I gave them to you. That's the Chinese one. The yeah. Rembrandt one. You've been talking to... Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, but I, these I, are the I ones remember. I'm currently using. Sorry. I don't remember. I have to look. Am I allowed to make a suggestion for you to draw? Absolutely. Also, yes. hello again. How are you all? Hello. Perfect. And yes, uh, there is... Uh, there's three different videos in the Art Hacks folder for how to draw hair. All right, let's see where this hair is going to go. Um, or, I, I, you have a video on how to sketch hair? Yeah, I said, I just said, there's yeah. three of them. Yeah. We just hit the one hour mark, so then All right. Well, for that. All right, so we're gonna take this one and... I'm drawing a rooster right now, and it's nice and relaxing to be able to watch this stream at the same time. Oh, thank you, Steph Nerd. She put that hair um, from the Artex playlist in. Thank you. What time is your favorite time of the day that you usually create your artwork? Um, I'm up early, but I think uh, 
you know, this is 9 a.m. for me. Um, so I'll usually do the art during these lives um, is, is fun. So I guess 9 a.m. seems like a good time for me. It is 10.08 a.m. Central Time where Scott and I are located. As a left-handed artist, normally I try to draw and paint right to left. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there a way I could show you my sketch? Um, yes. You can send it to us, absolutely. There's, there is a Discord. We have a Discord. You can post there. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Richard's here. Hey, hey Richard. Good morning. Hi, Richard. How you doing? What you painting today? Music with Brandy says, my art teacher recommended your channel to start my art, and now I know I had a, made a miracle discovering this channel. You are so motivating and inspirational. Wow. Like Scott just can't express it. Woo. Well, thank you, and, and please thank your art teacher for me. Yes, thank your art teacher very, very much. Mm, wow. Did you answer what your favorite time of the day is to create your artwork? Yeah, I said, I think just this time of day. Robin says, just popping in and back out again, but wanted to say good luck on the painting. The sketch looks great. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go like this a little bit and see if this helps. <laughs> Zoe says, you guys remind me so much of my aunt and uncle. Oh. Well, that's funny because I actually have a niece and her name, Zoe. Which painting in your hair journal is your least favorite? Oh, um, I would also bookend that with saying which one's your most favorite. So tell us your least favorite and most favorite in the hair journal. Well, the least favorite, I think, is the one without the hair. It would be the cancer one. Um, I, it doesn't have hair. I, I struggled with it, you know, and some of them you just kind of struggle with and some of them you uh, go really easy. And my favorite, of course, is the, um, the trans one. I just like that one. My favorite is the one with the hijab. I love that one. Well, this one's coming out pretty good, everybody. Are you happy with it so far? I, yeah. Are you happy I, with the design you picked? I think so, I think so. I, I really need to kind of fill up. The other side? This, well, I need to, this, I need all of this to be snakes, all yeah. of this area. And so I'm gonna have to kind of the problem is you have to track where everyone is coming and going and do you think you'll add scales to her face? I, I don't I don't think so. I think I will I might make her like a grayish skin tone. I don't know. What what do you all think? Should she be green skin? Should she have scales? Should she have gray skin? Should she be purple, blue? Okay, while people tell you, I'm gonna say, Chonk says, please read to Scott. I know this isn't art, but I'm proud and I'm telling everyone, I'm doing my first library program with my animals next week, but I did do some art designing the stickers. Oh, that's great. That sounds like fun. Congratulations. Okay, let's see. Maybe a mix of skin tones. A sage green, a grayish green, a greenish shade of gray, snake eyes, green skin, gray skin with green scales. A stone colored tone, maybe some subtle scales. Yeah, I was thinking kind of stone, maybe a slate gray kind of thing. But is Marble it weird if she gray. is it weird if she looks like stone? I mean, if she's turning other people into stone. Bethany says Medusa should have normal human colored skin. She was a person, not a monster. Okay. Maybe you could make her just very, very pale. Um, Moonlight Draw, there is a link, um, link. there's a video um, with how to find your art style. It's a, called a mosaic. Um, gradient of gray and green, but she was turned into a monster. You could do a night scene and make her eyes glow. He does not draw with pastels. Not anymore. Uh, thank you, Bethany. There's the video. Bethany just put in the link to the video um, of the art style. They, the, major, the majority is grayish green, um, but Bethany says um, that she had normal skin. Um, 
that hopeless gay there's a link to it in the um if you go to the about there's a link in there and you'll find it there stone color sounds cool um are we doing line art today i don't think so i think we spent so much time on the comments. deciding yeah that i think i will do inking tomorrow mm -hmm. and i think inking is going to take me Forever. Nine, you know, the, the full 90 minutes. Yeah, so we may have to paint Monday. Yeah, which means we'll wow. paint Monday. Woo! Lady says, I'm in the hair salon right now. The Latin emoji. How um, can you draw with people watching you? I can't draw when somebody's watching me. You're so incredible. Well, I'm standing here in my sweats and my Death Leopard t-shirt, so it's not like, you know, I'm having to perform or anything like that. Uh, it's not hello. so scary. Come on, monkey, draw faster. <laughs> I think this snake is gonna wrap around this one, which would be kind of cool. Can we go back around? I think you mean the color of milk like me, Stefner. <laughs> yes, very, very pale. Um, Wandy Sketches says, True Medusa was a person. I just feel like scales and a more unnatural skin tone would be a good change in the hair journal. Jamie says, Have you seen the Medusa commercials? It looks good. No, I haven't seen those. Um, maybe skin like a um, mossy stone, so a mix of gray and green. Is it just me who heard the next episode in the background? <laughs> herself no because you can see her in a mirror and without any effect you can see the reflection of yeah the so yeah. that's how perseus killed her uh we will be streaming tomorrow night at 7 p.m central time that's right i wanted to know unpacking my oh um right has everybody heard the news about the kickstarter so um before I forget, Donna was able to find a way to ship up to four of these individually mm -hmm. for just $2 anywhere in the world. So if any of you wanted one or two of these, they're $5 each and only $2 shipping. So you could, if, if you didn't have enough money to pay the $35 plus shipping uh, for the whole set and you wanted just one, you can buy one for $5 and $2 shipping and get it. Now she's gonna put it just in an envelope and they're pretty sturdy because it's on cardstock, but there is a chance because it's not gonna be packed as well as the, the full set mm -hmm. that it could get bent. So just keep that in mind. But at the end, you're only out $7. So there, that is now an option on the Kickstarter. And if anybody wants additional ones, if you've ordered the set, you can add add-ons too for no, there's no additional shipping costs. Nixia posted the link to the Kickstarter and Emma and Bethany posted the stream schedule. Thank you to our wonderful mods who always have my back. I appreciate you guys. Are you a fan of Percy Jackson? Um, our kids, I, sure our were. kids were, yeah. I, we, we watched the first movie. I don't know if we saw the second movie. I watched them with Brendan. Yeah. Yes, the $35 set is still available as well. How many days are left on the Kickstarter? I is think five, five or six. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, it was actually Hank Green and Dan Pobenmeyer who were saying, hey, TikTok is not, is just taking your art and, or your content and they are, um, you know, not really paying you, but YouTube does. So I started to check out YouTube. Hannah sent you another tip. Hannah! I know. It, it, she says, is it possible to create an iridescent tint to make it look like she has handsome snake scales, but there is still that hint of the human that she was? I don't know. Um, iridescent is not 
easy with watercolor, but we can see. I think there should be a transition from light pale skin to stone as you get closer to the hair. Hmm. That's an interesting take on it. Nixie says five days left on the Kickstarter. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> a couple people do not like the movies. I heard there's going to be a TV show. Um, um, let's see. What do you think about animation as an art practice? I love it. I mean, I was an animator for a decade or two. Hi, Hitty, the anime guy. The movies are very bad, says so Isaac. Okay. Uh, you know, you have to understand, they have to chop the story. They have to take creative license on the story. And a lot of times the author of the books are consulted on the stories. Probably not as much as like, you know, the Harry Potter ones were. Um, but a lot of times the authors just sign those away and they don't really have creative control over the story. So when they make the movies, they don't end up being like the books, which is why you've always got to read the book first. But that's my two cents. Um, so I got to track where this hair is going. This one is going to go... Tony says, I'm turning 53 tomorrow and I'm having a great desire to draw again because of you. Oh, thank you. And then you. says, gracias. <laughs> De nada. The author hated the movies. That's because they signed them over. Yeah, he had no creative control. Yeah. Oh, apparently he's um, going to be involved in the TV adaptation. Do you make mistakes? How do you learn from them? Um, everybody makes mistakes. I make a yeah, hundred mistakes. Scott, yeah, been? I make a hundred mistakes per illustration easily. Um, some of them are big, some of them are little. And uh, you learn to let go. You don't, you know, some of them you could learn to avoid after doing it so many times. Other times you learn to accept your mistakes. There might be just, I just can't draw hands very well, you know, kind of thing. And so... That's definitely something that to just kind of teach yourself uh, to be okay with the mistakes. Thank you. Saying happy early birthday to Tony. That's cute. I finished a quick anatomy study while I was watching your stream. I hope it went well. See, Isaac, so you're excited about the TV one because he's going to be more involved. And yet, you will still find, if you really love the books, I guarantee you, you'll still find things about it that they couldn't put in because they just didn't have time. Um, Srijita says, I've seen you use colored pencils for some of your sketches, so I have a question. Do you prefer using graphite pencils or colored ones for most of your sketches? Well, for my, for my thumbnails, I like using uh, Prismacolor pencils. But for something like this, where I have to erase it, I'm using a 4H pencil. Um, Scott's been drawing for like 100 years. Give or take. Yeah. Um, he's never worked on Japanese anime. Um, you should do a Greek mythology sketchbook. I loved your collab. Oh, thank you. That was fun. I started liking art when I was 10 years old. Now I'm 14 and I'm still learning and I'm enjoying it a lot. Hope to be as good as you in the future. That's Jamie first. Oh, please, if you're 14 now and you're, you're, you've you're learned so much in four years, yeah, you're going to blow Scott away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you tried an Ohuhu sketchbook? Their pages never... are really thick and it's good for markers. <laughs> Come I, on, that's I, really a name of a book. I've never heard of that. I haven't either, but it sounds funny. How do you deal with comparing yourself to other artists? I'm going to make a video on that because we all do it. Uh -huh. And um, and I haven't thought about how to answer that question yet. <laughs> so. It's not just for artists either. I mean, think about it in your day-to-day -day life. You always, you walk past people, oh, wow, that person has better hair than I do or nicer clothes than I do or that person's more well-spoken than I am or, gee, I wish that person, I would pet that person's idea. You do it. It's not just an art. You do it in everyday life. It's just human nature, I think. Imposter syndrome sucks. Yeah. What's the difference between watercolor paper and mixed media paper? Watercolor paper is thicker. And mixed media paper is a lie. 
All right, everybody. I think, other than doing the snake heads, uh, I think we are kind of done here. What do you uh, think? I want to see the snake head, please. Well, I'm not going to do them now because I... Milkshake says, just dropping by real quick to say, thanks for teaching me how to slow down and enjoy life, noticing the little details of the universe. Oh, wow. that makes me so happy. Jeez, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> you made Donna cry. Wow, you guys are, you're choking me up today. Is 22 too old to start drawing? Yeah, you're Seriously, an... Seriously, Connor? Seriously? <laughs> Look up uh, Grandma, was it Grandma Moses? Grandma Moses. Look up Grandma Moses. She didn't start until her 70s. Yep. I didn't start taking up watercolor until my late 40s. Yep. So I didn't start and doing this until- I didn't start until... journaling until I was 50. Never too late to start something new. Never, never, never too late. In fact, it is proven, scientifically proven, that the more things you try as you get older, the more like books and things that you read, it keeps your mind going, it keeps you active, and it, it keeps you younger longer. They don't have to worry about that at 22, but yeah. I am 52, so I'm telling anybody who might be older that you can. Oh, thank you, May Kay. She says, love your video, Scott. Glad I could catch a stream. How do you get yourself out of Art Block? Glad I could support the channel. There is a video on Art Block. Mm -hmm. Please take a look at it. I think if you, if you go to, um, for anybody who's who's gonna look for something on my on my channel, uh, let me get to my channel real quick. So if you go to my channel, uh, I think if you go to videos, can you click here? No, nope, it won't let you do it. There should be a way to maybe go to playlists and go to art hacks. Oh. I wish they would let you search. But but you what I what I tend to do is um, I would do look up uh, art block Sava, that's what I do, and then boom there it is, and it, and and the video will come up. So if if you have if you're looking for something where I say um, like you know what motivates you, what the, yeah, try try that and see. Um, I have a meeting in uh, a movie meeting um in a few minutes in a few minutes so i'm going to have to say a little early goodbye mm -hmm. but thank you all you guys helped create this together with me so let's look we did these thumbnails with a question or if you're on the discord you can put a question in for us um yeah they want to know how you get ideas for your art yeah that, that that's in the art block one and um and just go look in the art hacks there's a ton of videos hopefully that will help and then if there's anything else that is specific leave it in the comments you can leave it in the comments of today's uh video that'll be up uh as soon as i hit as soon as i shut this off you can leave a comment here mm -hmm. But so this. This batch says, You two are so much inspiration in, in everything, really. You two are so loving and supportive of each other. Wishing that I could find my own Scott. Oh, thank you. I hope you do. Um, so if you guys remember, this was the first sketch, which became this one, which became this one, which became this. So look at all the work that went into this and, and it's not even halfway done. Do you like heavily textured paper or less textured paper for watercolor? For watercolor, I like more texture. I don't know if you can see, you know, let me do this. Jose says, before you leave, do you like Greek mythology? And if so, make a sketchbook about it, please. I do like Greek mythology. Um, the, the problem with doing a sketchbook for me like that is I have to, get photo reference for all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And if it was a paying job and I could hire models, et cetera, et cetera, fantastic. But to um, do something, say daily or even every other day, um, it is easier for me to, and again, I, I'm, I'm finding photo reference for each of these, but these are kind of more 
Um, they're not all centered around one particular thing other than just me creating hair. Paper I just answered that and I showed a close up. Oh, okay. Love okay. Video, Scott. Glad I could catch a stream. How do you get yourself out of art block? This is May. There's a video on that. Just look up uh, art block. Hannah did it again. I just had a hair idea. How about a person who lives in, um, wild in the forest? Their hair and beard is all matted and full of flowers and possibly a bird family. Oh, that's great. Um, if you have any other questions on, um, yeah, the mods are putting in Scott's art supply list, the um, art hacks playlist, which has all of the interesting things in it, um, like how to draw noses, how to draw faces, um, and Scott's art supply list as well. You can check out all the places where he gets his art supplies. We go to a local place here um, in Nashville called Plaza Art. Um, but there's a lot of online things, stuff here. We buy things online too. So do you like wash or watercolor more? I, uh, if I had to pick, I'd pick watercolor right now. As long as I can still have the inks. And Ruigi asks, how do you feel about the success of the Kickstarter? Oh, I'm very happy. Uh, we only needed $1,500, so we're, we're very happy. I just want to get you guys some art. I want you guys to be able to hold some in your hand or put it up on the wall. So I'm very happy about that. And I have to get going. I've got a meeting. Thank Why you, everybody. You after the color instead of before. Um, because I like to have uh, a guide. I, 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 I like that to be my um, foundation. So that way the watercolor could be very messy. You do a bad hair day page. <laughs> I will try. What's your favorite thing in nature to draw? Donna. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central.